What is up everyone? Kate here from Rugby Tennis. Hope you guys are doing awesome today. We got a racket review for you guys today and that racket is the Head Extreme MP2023 Auxetic Edition racket, whatever you want to call it. But before we jump into it, make sure you guys are liking and subscribing. We've had a lot of product reviews in the past you know, couple months, couple weeks. So definitely check those out if you're not subscribed, but definitely stay on this video for now, but go check those out after. We do lots of things on this channel, you know, tracking my, my college career, chasing 13, tips and tricks, drills, like we're doing today, product reviews, so don't miss anything. Please like and subscribe, it helps the channel a lot. But jumping to the racket for today. Now, it's kind of funny this one. I wasn't planning on really demoing it at all because I really have no intentions to switch to a racket like this. But this is the racket of choice for my dad and also my sister. They also use the Extreme MP and they wanted me to try it. But also, of course, I'm going to tell you guys what I think about it as well. So very interesting frame it's definitely in the realm of power and spin which is kind of a no-brainer for the extreme line but need to make sure i tell you guys that i strung it up today uh for, for the for you guys with uh head hawk power so that's a string that has just come out i am lucky that i have had some access to it because head sent me or didn't send me sent the school some to try out so that's what i threw in here and it is at 24 and 23 kilos and the reason why i say kilos because normally i do pounds is because i actually strung this up for somebody else to play test as well and i put their attention in it but 24 and 23 kilos is actually pretty close to what i'm using anyway so it shouldn't be that big of a difference anyway but how does this racket play i'm going to tell you guys so it is like a brother or a sister, if you know what I mean, to the Head Extreme Tour line, which you guys should be very familiar with if you're watching the channel because that racket is talked about nonstop on, on this channel. So I consider it a brother or a sister because it's almost like it's more powerful sibling, you know what I mean? Um, everything with this racket is more. So you're gonna get more pop, you're gonna get more spin, you're gonna get more power, and it's because of the head size, the thickness of the beam, and also it's more of an open string pattern. Um, also the head CPI scale is, oh, you, maybe you guys can correct me if I'm wrong here, but it is a little bit higher than the Extreme Tour. But yeah, this thing is just more. So. I really think this racket, to be honest, is for people that are in that pure arrow, pure drive, like head rackets, um, and don't want to go all bablot crazy. Um, this is definitely one that's very user friendly, especially at the intermediate level. I'm sure you could get away with playing with this racket though at a higher level if you were going to tinker with it and customize it. But I really think this is a great, great intermediate racket. Uh, for players to kind of get some good pop and spin out of. But what did I think of it? If we go to the back forehands, um, this ball's flying off the racket, man. It's got a lot of great pop. Um, really, the complaint that I would have is that it, it's too much. It reminds me of, you know, a Pure Arrow, my old Pure Arrow Tour for my loyal subs. You guys know I used to use uh, Pure Arrow Tour. It really reminded me of that. Um, there was just times that I, I couldn't control it. And throughout this review, I'm gonna pick it apart a bit. Um, it's not a bad racket at all. It's actually a great racket for a lot of people, but it's just not for me. Uh, I just found it was, on the forehand, especially here, what we're talking about right now, it's just too much pop, too much spin. I just, I couldn't handle it almost. Uh, but if you're somebody that needs that pop, so somebody that's, you know, a 4.0, a 4.5, um, you know, a junior player, um, somebody that just has a hard time generating power themselves, this is a good one. So I mean, yeah, so that's kind of the story of the forehand, uh, just overall a lot of power, uh, which is not a bad thing. Um, you could definitely probably change that if you wanted more power, go for a hybrid setup. Um, of course, this is a pretty controlled setup. What I have in here, head hop power is very much like alu power from what I've heard too as well. So 
It doesn't get any more controlled for the strings, but you can definitely add some more power if you want some more with a hybrid or uh, a polyester that's gonna give you some more power. So that's forehand. If we go to the backhand side, things were starting to get a little instable here. Um, I just think it's the weight of the racket. It's very light. It, it feels light in my hands, and that's why I do think it's a great racket for the intermediate um, player. I did add weight to this racket, though, just to see how it would react. I added about nine centimeters here, nine centimeters here, and then kind of distributed it here at the three and the nine to try and help with the stability. Um, it did help a little bit. However, you guys know with adding weight, um, you know, it's going to give you a little bit more power at times. And that's what happened to this racket again. I got more power out of the weight. Um, and I didn't need any more power than I was already getting, uh, especially since this is already very powerful. So it did stabilize it, but it did make more power when I didn't need it. Um, so that was something to think about. So be careful if you're gonna add weight to this one, know what you're doing with it. But yeah, back in overall, just felt a little bit not as stable as I would like, even with a little bit of the weight. Um, Backhand slice though was very nice. There's something with the extreme line. Um, it's close. It's close to my heart or something. I don't. I don't know. Like with the extreme tour, love it on my slice. This felt pretty smooth on slice. I mean, it didn't feel as good as my extreme tour, but I definitely could feel like it had properties of that racket. So I like it on the slice. At net, we're gonna move up now. It it was actually pretty stable for a light racket. I thought so. When I did test its stock, um, it, su it surprised me a bit actually. I didn't have all the feeling in the world, but I was definitely like the plow in the volleys, like it was, it, it was nice. Like I didn't mind it at all at the net. Um, I do feel like though, if I was playing doubles in a big match and somebody's gonna rip it down the line at me, I don't know how the racket would perform at a ball coming at me like 100 miles an hour. That's where we would need some some weight distributed, but then we had the problem with more power and I don't need that. So overall in the volleys, I thought it was pretty good. I know we've been giving it letter grades on the channel. So I would say the volleys are a, a, a good solid B plus or A minus. So definitely solid on the volleys. Overheads, very nice. I feel like when I'm demoing rackets, overheads are the one place when demoing a racket I never have issues with. Um, it was great on the overheads, no problems at all. I don't know if that's because I have a good motion or anything, but no problems on the overheads at all. Really loved it, got a lot of pop out of it. And this is the sad part of the review coming up. The camera did die on serve and return, so I don't have footage for you for that, but I can definitely tell you about uh, what I felt on the serve and return. Once again, a lot of power in this racket. Uh, I did have a hard time controlling it on the serve, so that meant you know, hitting my spots was a little bit difficult at times. However, when it was landing in, I'll tell you, this flat serve was a bomb. So if you, like I said, are an intermediate player and you wanna get some extra pop on your serve or extra pop on your shots, this is gonna be a good one. Um, you're able to hit all the spins with this as well. This is actually, if you're able to, to, to have a good feeling with this and you do like it, I think you'll like it on your kick serve and your slice serve because after all, it is a spin beast. Uh, it is an extreme MP racket that we are talking about here. So serves were, were good, but similar to all the other things, just not good for me. Um, and on the returns, very similar uh, issues that I had on the back end, just a little unstable just because of the weight. Um, and that was both, you know, for the forehand and the backhand. But overall, um, I'm happy I did play test this though, because it's interesting to play with other rackets that are in a line that, you know, you currently use. And uh, I know people that use this racket really love it. And I, I, I can see why they love it because of all the amazing things that it would do for that certain level. So I really do think this is a probably one of, if not the best racket for intermediate player seeking power spin um, and you know just good playability. This is a great frame. Um, 
But yeah, feel free to ask me questions in the comments about this racket, ask me questions about other rackets in the comments. Uh, but that is gonna be it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Do not forget to like and subscribe, and we will catch you guys in the next video. Yeah.